So do you want to add Freon into your AC system without having to spend money on a brand new AC compressor like I was? What I'm going to tell you. Alright, first of all, my compressor is down there. This big hose is connected to it right here. It's down there. You can't really see it. And then you're going to add Freon through here. Alright, so first of all, you have to go to O'Reilly's, AutoZone, Napa, wherever you want. You can buy a Freon can, they're like 20 to 30 bucks. Just depends on the size that they are. Well, you're gonna try to get one with, is try to get one that comes with the fuel, with the pressure gauge and a, and a hose, right? And I recommend you also get one that has a leak sealer in it, just in case. Well, anyways, you buy that and you connect the hose on this one up here. It won't fit on here, so you can't mess it up. It only fit that hose only fits on one to add Freon. Okay, all right. In order to add Freon, your AC compressor down there, your, or it, on your car it could be up. But your AC compressor clutch, there's a clutch in front of the compressor. That little clutch needs to be running and engaged. If you try to add Freon on here, and your little clutch on the AC compressor is not on, it's not running. And you try to add Freon in here, it's, nothing's gonna happen. I tried it already, wasted my time, and I had no AC for a long time. But I just barely learned all this. Okay, so. Alright. So, yeah, your AC clutch needs to be on. And I also learned that AC clutches, AC compressors, if they're low on Freon, they'll, the clutch won't, won't engage. And a lot of people just go buy and go buy a whole new. AC compressor and spend a lot of money for nothing like I was all right so so yeah that's the weird thing in order to add Freon the clutch needs to be on but if it's low on if the clutch if the compressor is low on Freon it won't turn on so so how are you gonna get Freon in here okay so I'm gonna show you a hack to make the AC compressor clutch engage and turn on mandatory we'll turn it on I'll, I'm going to show you how to turn it on so you can add a Freon in your system and have AC so so yeah alright let me show you guys so to make that clutch compressor clutch turn on you're going to need a piece of wire cut the tips off so you have wire sticking out ok so you get a wire you go to your battery, your fuse box, and turn on your your car or truck. Turn it on and put the AC on full blast cold. Okay, so you go to your fuse box. <coughs> you look at your fuse cap. You look at your little map. All right, so you want to have your wire, have one end touching. The positive side of your battery terminal you have positive end right there and the other end you're in a way with it up here until you find out where you're you're gonna look for your AC comp relay fuse whatever it is like mine's right there AC comp right there that one the one I'm touching so you look for it down here on your fuses and mine's this one right here this one that I'm touching okay all right so you're gonna so you have your wire touching the hot on your battery you're gonna have the other end up here and your AC comp your AC comp switch relay I already have mine loose to show you guys okay so you're gonna have the wire over here touching your hot the little fuse switch you're gonna you want to have it off right okay you're gonna have it off and look at your map AC comp there's an 87 on it well under this fuse there's some little prongs sticking out right and there's that those numbers on it too the 87 so the 87 
you see how it's this one right here? Oh, I can't do this with two hands. There's that 87 prong. I'm touching it. Okay, well, that, where that 87 prong slots into, which is this one right here, this little down corner one. Okay, you're gonna grab your other end of the wire and you're gonna stick it in the 87 slot down there. Okay, so once you do that, once you do that, your your AC compressor clutch is gonna automatically turn on. Mandatory, it's gonna turn on. And once you have it on, you're gonna hear a click when your AC compressor turns on, and you'll hear a click. You won't you won't miss it. It's gonna click. And once it's gonna be running, now is when you add Freon in. Take this off. You put your hose on. And you're gonna add Freon. It has a little trigger on the on the gauge to let the Freon out. And remember to have the can upside down and shake it while holding the trigger. And when you're holding the trigger, remember press it for like a few seconds, let it go, check your pressure, and just do keep checking your pressure. Don't press the trigger for too long, or else you want to put too much in it. And and um. And yeah, that's you just fill it up until your pressure is right, and then that's pretty much all you have to do. You just fill it up like that, and then you're gonna come back over here, take the wire out, and once you take the wire out, your your clutch, your AC clutch is probably gonna turn off. But right away, just put this back in, put it back in the way you took it out. And then your AC clutch will turn on again. And that's all you do. You have AC that's cold. You have some cold AC and yeah, you'll be good to go.